What is up? What is up? I see a few people starting to come into room. What's up, guys? My name is Mike Thompson. I like to draw and paint and sculpt stuff for money. Welcome. Uh, if you... That music might be a little loud. Turn it down a little bit. And turn down. Oh, no wonder. Turn down my earphones. Okay, cool. What's up, everybody? Uh, today, if you are joining me for the first time, I am Mike Thompson. I'm an illustrator. I work for companies like Hasbro and uh, Sideshow and a bunch of guys. Uh, Dimension Films, things like that. Painting and sculpting stuff. So if you were here before, I was working on this guy, this Omega Red. And uh, let me know if the music's too loud. Hey, what's up? You're Russian. <laughs> All right, tell me if I'm messing it up now. What's going on? No beard. Cleaned it up. Cleaned it up. You know what? It was just coming in patchy. It just was a mess. I don't have a. I don't have one of those sweet uh, pandemic beards like everybody else. So, what are you gonna do? Baby face fenster in the house. Um, so yeah, if, uh, you were here last time, I was working on this guy. I went in and detailed him a little bit more in the face. Um, I think I kind of got my pose figured out for him. And so now I'm figuring out his gear, right? Cause I got, I got the pose down. Let's move this over a little bit. Can I move this over to, where am I going to put it? Let's put it on this side. There you go. All right, cool. Uh, hey, thanks, man. Thank you. Pew, pew. Um, yeah, so, all right. So I started just kind of figuring out the clothing on him. Um, if you're not familiar with Omega, Omega Red, he is a villain in the X-Men universe. Kinda has powers like Wolverine. Um, he's got like some, whatever the Russian equivalent of adamantium is. And uh, he has these long cables that comes out of his arm, uh, arms, and he tears folks up with it. So it's like this guy right here, right? So um, I went and made a pure ref uh, board that has toys, it has, other people's sculpts it's got um it's got my old sculpts on it it's got everything i put it all on here i threw the kitchen sink russian uh insignia everything daniel bell stuff shout out to daniel bell still still a gentleman and a scholar um so i got his stuff on here because of course right if you're gonna do something look at the best and so I got all that on a reference board in addition to this here, which is my anatomy ref, right? So this is all stuff from, this is all stuff I was using from, come on, baby, move over. There you go. Uh, stuff I was using to figure out the muscles on these guys. Um, so a lot of reference, a lot of reference, a lot of reference. All right. Um, and so anyway, put all that together and that's what I use to get his anatomy kind of figured out. And so now I'm just kind of tightening that up, going in and looking for any last minute, uh, kind of things that could be better and cleaning those up. Yesterday I merged his arms onto his body. So now this whole upper body is one thing. Along with his neck, I kind of fixed his neck. Head is its own deal because did I print the Hulk yet? No, not yet, not yet. I've been working on uh, on a, a thing for um, for a client, so I haven't had time to work on that. A couple things. So let's see. You you don't want to sketch your designs in Dynamesh? No, not so much. Dynamesh. So I like to have like really low low clean topology. So if I step down on this guy, let's see. 
Like I like to have my stuff look like this because I go and tweak it, right? So I'm today gonna go in and continue to tweak his pecs a little bit, um, move things around where they're supposed to be. And uh, with Dynamesh, it just gets too wobbly. Now I do use that when I'm cutting and keying and putting things together. Uh, I'll Dynamesh it after I do a Boolean feature and then I'll do Sometimes I'll do a remesh, sometimes I'll just leave it alone. Sometimes I'll just decimate it. So uh, that is it. Let's see, did you print that hole? No, I said no. Hey, what's up, Sour Dip Nath? Doing pretty good, you? All right, so um, step back up. And since you guys were here, I started working on the hair a little bit, figuring out how that's gonna work. Now I just put his head on his body, so the hair kinda, I should tweak that now. Actually, let's do that. And again, I step down real low on this and you'll see that the hair is penetrating the mesh. Um, so let's fix that. And again, head is not part of the body because, um, well, two reasons. I can divide it and get more detail uh, when I go in and do things like add, um, uh, add pores and things like that so that's good and then the other reason is because I have a second portrait for him which is um, closed mouth right so I have portrait one and portrait two so it's this one and if I turn on my color here you can see I went and did a little poly painting uh, just some you know not a whole lot, but just enough to like give it a little bit of tones and it makes it a little easier to see. Way easier to see. Look at this guy on the left. He looks like he needs to get some sun, you guys. All right, let's see what else is going on in the chat. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, just one more thing. Do you do hair earlier? Vid? No, so I'm gonna continue to do a little bit of hair before I get into uh, the clothes today. So uh, what I can do now is turn off everything I don't need. Let's turn off that. Um, I can just want to get this hair kind of where it's supposed to be. And eventually it's all going to look like what's up uh, here in the ponytail and the top of his head. Mostly. All right, so that's not too shabby. I'm gonna add some more. I went and put a, I felt like with this big metal band on his forehead, it should have some kind of uh, padding underneath of it so I just did like a really rough uh, like padding thing if I turn off the dynamesh you can see or uh, dynamic subdivision you can see it's all super low all right so I can add my um, edge loops and things like that to keep it clean and then I can sculpt it so that's what I'm about to do here let's get this so it's not going through the hair Oh, you know what? I didn't have, I didn't have my symmetry turned on. So let's turn that on. And you kind of lose it on the other side if I do that, but you know what, it's okay. So let's mirror and weld. Uh, let's see. Solo. Oh, I can't mirror and weld, I forgot. I not wanna do that because I posed it last night. I kind of moved the head. I used to have the head set up um, for the last stream and actually up until yesterday where I had uh, I had it centered on the world and it was in um, it was symmetrical but uh, I undid that yesterday so now I'm just going in kind of sculpt this up the way I want how's everybody doing 
Let's see. Tim Slug, what's up? Um, what is up? <coughs> this must. Uh, how do you do symmetrical eye flex shoulder pads? So, I'm going to make those and um, I'll make like half of the hard surface stuff and then. Um, you know, mirror and weld it, and then I will kind of move it into position since I kind of broke symmetry on this guy. Thank you, uh, Michael. Space here in the object. Is the base here one object or you just sculpted it? Oh yeah, base here is one object. This is just this deal right here. I turn on double, it's just this. Got that fryer tuck, y'all. Yeah, scrunchy makes it. Scrunchy is it makes everything better. So I got a got a nice scrunchy going on here. All right, so let's uh, hide his body for now. Um, still not totally done with that. Still looking a little janky in some of these spots, but it's pretty close. As I say, I'm going to get off and then I start sculpting. Most of this is going to be covered up anyway, but... If I get it right now, then I can, uh, then I can, um, not have to worry about it later. I'm bummed out because the arm fell off of my dude and snapped the finger off. So I keep gluing it on. It keeps falling off, but you know, what are you going to do, man? What are you going to do? Yes, and yes. And uh, I'm not completely sold on the hand position either. Like with the tentacles, I'm probably gonna wrap these fingers around a little bit so he's holding it kind of like a whip, almost like a whiplash from the Iron Man movies. Uh, Iron Man 2, I think. And then this front hand, I don't really love this. Like, so maybe I'll do like a more dynamic, like Spider-Man kind of deal. That'd be kind of cool. So let's get to the hair. All right, let's see. Ba, 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 ba. Let's see what else is happening. Um, 
Can you turn the hair into, yeah, so I could turn on, I could turn on um, gravity and do some stuff with that with the hair if I wanted to. I didn't think about that. That'd probably be a cool way to get some, you know, get some nice uh, deformers to it. Yeah, no, it's poly painted. That's just some, some quick poly painting. Again, biting off Daniel Bell. Biting off Daniel Bell. I, I usually sculpt everything just gray. And uh, I saw him doing this and I was like, you know what? It makes it easier to read the forms. And you can always just turn it off, right? You just turn off your, uh, turn off the, the little pencil and you can see things. Or your brush rather, and you can see a little better. So let's dig into this hair a little bit. Um, did I use custom brush for the hair? Mm, well, wait a minute. For the hair, so I'll show you. I'll show you now. Why not? I just show you. Let's see, Bobby Foster, what's up, Bobby? Bobby's holding down B more for uh, for the for the folks. So Omega has radiation burns. Megan Pan. All right. So with my dude, is that what it is? Radiation burns? I didn't know that. Right. So with my guy, I went and made a second. I like the idea of like almost circuitry on his face. Like if you look at a printed circuit board. So I did this deal where I made a duplicate of his face and then kind of did roughed in this just to give me an idea what it would look like. And then when I turn on the face, you can see it kind of comes through like that, right? So by no means is this the final deal, but I can turn it on, I can turn it off and see what it looks like with or without it. And uh, and so that's that's kind of what I did. Um, it'll be cleaner, it'll look better later on, but for now, this is what it is. Inflate is the new low P. What's up, John Quest? Johnny Quest! What do you recommend for the first 3D piece? I don't know. What do you like? What do you like? Do what you like. Cursor looks different. You know what? It's weird. Um, I looked at the YouTube video after the fact. It, it has like some line stuff on there. I guarantee it doesn't look like that for me. I don't know what that's all about. All right. So, uh, hair, hair, hair. Let's turn off the tentacles. Turn off a lot of stuff. Let's turn off the tentacles. Let's turn off the body. Let's turn off the legs. Let's get into this hair a little bit. Oh, would help if I found some hair reference. So right now this is all kind of low and there's a lot, oh, well, there's a lot here. So let's do this way me. Anyway, first I'll divide it again a couple times. And uh, everything is poly grouped by the way. That's how I'm separating it. So let's hide everything with this piece. Yeah, and then I'll I'm gonna turn off this one and actually let's step down as low as I can because I want to get it clean right I don't want it looking wobbly everything has got to be clean and I also like to have a little bit of H polish so it gets ribbony in some spots as opposed to looking like tentacles Hair is always a big, like, I don't know, I stress it um, because it's, I've seen guys who can do it fast um, and, you know, that's cool, but that's not me. And also, um, 
It's like a whole process. You got to get the forms looking right before you even get into the details. Because it doesn't matter how much you detail it if, if it looks like spaghetti, right? You don't want that. Oh, wanted to show you guys. I just, uh, let me do something real quick. Um, so I just found my Hasbro GI Joe artwork out in the world and pick this thing up. This is my roadblock. So this is what I do for a living, you guys. People ask me, hey, you paint too? Yeah, that's this is how I make my money, is doing, doing this kind of stuff. Paint and stuff. And now sculpting as well. All right, so I like to turn on clay build up, turn up my lazy radius on my lazy mouse and turn down my intensity and just start kind of figuring out some of this stuff. Here for me is a lot of just kind of happy accidents. Oh, also make sure you have back face mask turned on. You're not gonna have a good day. And it doesn't matter if it looks messy at first, like, just don't sweat it. I'm going to make sure to give myself plenty of time because I definitely want to get to his uniform today. Start getting some, some piping and stuff done, figure out some of the breaks in his, uh, in his outfit. And I did go in to Photoshop and start to sketch this All right so this is like a this is what i'm having like this is kind of what i have in mind for it as far as the panels go and the boots i want to have big chunky boots um and uh the top obviously is going to be wearing a shirt and stuff like that and then uh just kind of sketched out what i had in mind for the shoulder pads very close to the comic book. I want to keep it comic accurate and then just kind of put my put my spin on it a little bit. Omega Red has been sculpted so many times by dope artists um, for, you know, like Prime One and XM and stuff like that, that you're not really reinventing the wheel or anything. You just want to, for me anyway, I just want to do, uh, I want to do my take on them. And a friend of mine, who, if I don't mention every pod, every every podcast, every stream, I I feel bad um, because uh, Brad helped me figure out how to pose, guys. Right? Like I was very nervous about posing my people. That always felt stiff, um, stuff like that. So we worked together on the pose for the Hulk, and um, and we also worked together on the pose for Omega Red. So he'll come up with a dope pose for me. I'll go in and start sculpting it. And uh, and we've done that for a couple pieces and they always come out kind of fresh, I think. So shout out to Brad Grotman. Animator Extreme. All right, let's see what else is going on. Gus Viola, that's sick. Thanks, man. He has cybernetics, but he has radiation burns because he's trying to replicate. Uh, Logan and a Canadian. Okay. All right. Yeah. So clearly I need to go do my research on YouTube a little more on him. Like bobbles. What's up? All right. Turn off solo. And it probably makes sense to go and do a few of these strands first. So let's go back and grab this one. And uh, you can see that's kinked up. I think I lifted that one up and um, in fact, let's do this. I'm gonna mask that and step down. I 
want this hair to almost have like an anime kind of a flare up in the front. So. So whenever the hair starts to get kink, kinky, I uh, I just inflate it and smooth it, and that kind of works out those problems. And then I can shape it to whatever I want. I'll shape it to whatever I want. Keeping this low resolution is great for being able to go in and just find the find the forms, you know, like pose it until you find what you're looking for. Just fixing some of these, some of these forms. There's that annoying song. Hold on. Sorry about that, guys. I know your ears are probably bleeding. I meant to pull that out. Get out of here. I meant to pull that out of the playlist. All right, step up a little bit, see what I missed. Hey, Misha. Uh, ZBrush, so they have, um, what is it, ZBrush, uh, ZBrush, not light, what's it called? Um, there's a, there's a, like an introductory version of ZBrush that's free. It has like six brushes, but it's a lot, I mean, it's, it's enough to get you started and figure out how to, you know, start using the interface and all that good stuff. And, uh, and things of that nature. All right, that song also is loud to me. I'm going to skip this one as well. Um, you're out of here, dude. All right, cool. Um, poor many. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah, so uh, Core Mini is definitely the way to go. Um, and then if you like it, 
and you don't want to spend the whole grip for it at one time just get the um they have like a monthly subscription kind of like photoshop and everything else where you can just pay for it in uh increments which is nice So I got ZBrush several years ago, but it was crazy because um, at the time I was like, man, this is a lot of money to be spending, but they've come out with all these updates. And this is like the plug, 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 right? I'm, I'm company guy, but seriously, I use ZBrush every day for client work and for like personal work. And uh, all the updates are free, which who does that? Adobe definitely doesn't do that. So, um, so anyway, totally worth it to me, I think. Shoot, Corel doesn't do that. So it doesn't matter that the uh, the resolution is low here because basically all I'm looking for is guides to to detail later on, basically. Okay. So if I can get this looking kind of like a ribbon of hair that's twisting around, then go and add the detail later on. Oh, and uh, somebody was asking me earlier about Dynamesh. So when I am sculpting details of hair and hair, uh, that's when I'm usually doing it with Dynamesh turned on because I can quickly um, get the resolution I need and I don't have to worry about... Um, I don't really have to worry about the, uh, the topology that much once I have it kind of laid out the way I want. Oh, <laughs> the music is on like double time. There you go. That's how it's supposed to sound. That was like crazy. Free hugs for all. I will take you up on that. I would like a free hug. Does it include a free update for the next major? But yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Once you've got the work coming in, a lot of our programs tend to pay for themselves. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Kelsey in the house. That's my student, y'all. Coming all the way from Australia. It's probably like 4 o'clock in the morning there. I don't know what time it is, but it's like late. It's dedication. She stays up late for me. All right. Let's turn on the other ones. Ba -ba -ba. Let's see this. And this, all right, so it's penetrating now, I like that. That seems fast too. There you go. Yeah, it was on some 45 speed. Nobody knows what that is. See, back in my day, we didn't have digital music and stuff in the cloud. We didn't have clouds. We had clouds, but they were in the sky. So we had to listen to music on things called records and uh, eight track tapes and cassette tapes. So funny, I showed my kids when they were younger uh, a cassette tape and they were like, what is that? Like, come on, man. So anyway, 45 was like this little tiny record and you could speed it up. So everybody sounded like a chipmunk. I'm an old dude. Hello.
All right, so there's that. Let's um, maybe do a little pinch. Pinch. Oh yeah, saving is good. Maybe I'll save every once in a while. Oh, right. 40, oh my gosh, 4.30 a.m. That's so crazy. All right. Today is Thursday. You better have your assignment, Kelsey. Just because you came in here, I'm not giving you any breaks. Kelsey always has her assignments. Chris, I never freeze. What's up? What is up, my brother? How long have you been sculpting? Um, probably six years. Six years. Painting all my life. Saving is overrated until it's not. Let's do this strand I have up here. Let's do this one. My hand is sticking to the screen. hard edge. That's what I'm talking about. Alright. Um, I don't know that this has a whole lot of subdivisions. I guess it has enough. Let's see what happens. Uh, the music playing now. This is a song called I Do. You hiding a blonde piney ponytail. <laughs> well, listen, not gonna lie, I am half German and I do find blonde hairs in my mustache from time to time, so I'll never tell. I'm hiding some gray hairs up under here, but nah. Hiding the fact that I have not given myself a haircut yet this week. Ooh, that's too high, heavy. Turn that down. Let's turn that down, son. There you go. All right, so what I probably want to do with this, this does have subdivisions, yeah, let's see. I'm gonna split this one because I want to take it to final, split hidden. Oh, I gotta drop down the low. Uh, well, before I do, let's turn on everything. I'm gonna do a save state, then drop down. split hidden. Hold up. What is happening here? Solo. There you go. Alright. Now split hidden. Alright. There you go. So now I can divide this again and get some detail.
And I'm gonna cut in these lines probably thicker than they would be in real life because I plan on printing this guy. And I want it to, I want it to uh, hold when I print. All right, let's turn this on, see what it looks like. And then I can step down and reposition it because it looks like it kind of got pushed back into the mesh. I just wanted one piece of hair that looks like it is folded, not folded, but like up and angled from the rest of the hair. So I thought it'd be easier just to split it off, and do it this way. You might be asking yourself, why are you doing this when you already have all those pretty much the same thing there? So when I put this all back together with, you know, the bullion mesh, it'll look like, um, it'll look like hair as opposed to just strands. Super excited, you guys. I just finished up, I can't talk about it, but I just finished a uh, my first sideshow piece. Like first really, really big piece. So I did a painting for them and another sculpt, but this is like, a, it's gonna be a big one. Excited about that. Turn that up. Probably would be easier to see too if I change the color a little bit. Color. Let's move this down. Color fill. There you go. Now I can see it. Just a little something to break it up. Um, all right, let's go back to these guys. And now I want a few more stragglers like around the ears and stuff like that, but I'm gonna hold off on that. I'm just gonna step down and just make sure everything is positioned the way I want it. You can always add that stuff later on. So now let's take this guy and start to figure him out a little bit. Check the chat in a minute. Let's see. Da, da, da. What we got here? Haven't cut my hair in this pandemic. Yeah, my thing was crazy. It was crazy. I got a. Uh, I went and bought some clippers, and uh, I was doing pretty well. And then uh, I thought I was doing pretty well anyway, but like. Be honest, you screw your hair up in a pandemic and nobody cares. But um I was gonna say, yeah, now's the time to learn how to cut it. And then my son came over and gave me a fade in the back. We had like that uh boys in the hood moment where he like hooked me up. It was nice. Um so 
I think I might uh, stick with this regiment. My boy tighten me up in the back. I'll do the, the fade on the side. Keep it clean. And uh, save some money. Right, let's see what else is going on. Da, da, da. Indian Army, what's going on? Yo, yo. What brush is that? Looks pretty good. Um, The brush I was using. So I made this thing called... Um, Happy Trails, which is basically, it's based off of a brush I found on, uh, I think Brad found it on, on uh, Gumroad called the Jaw Cut, and we just kind of played around with it, and now it's, uh, it's nice, it's pretty nice, so let's uh, step up on this one. It's probably going to look kind of whack because it's still kind of low, but check this out. It's clean. It's very clean. And if I turn it up, the intensity, it's like really get some nice, nice form changes. Thing is though, if I start off doing it this way, the hair always looks like ice cream, like soft serve ice cream, so I don't really like to start this way. Um, step down, maybe smooth it out a little bit, and then step back up again. I have some of the form still there, so I can go in with my clay build up and just go on top of it. And, uh, and get what I'm looking for. Everybody knows clay buildup is dope. That's what I use for all of my muscle block in. So if we go back to um, we'll go over here to Photoshop and turn this off. Um, let me lighten it up. So like you can still see it in the legs. The legs are all, um, legs are all just the uh, clay, clay tubes, clay buildup, clay tubes rather. And, uh, and that was what the upper body was too. You can still see it in the hands, super, super loose but it's great for building the forms. And then uh, and then you just go in and smooth it out and detail on top of it. Like I'm gonna go in here today and add some veins to him um, in the areas that are gonna be exposed and, uh, and all that good stuff. So. Love that brush. And I'm just holding Alt to switch between um, building up the forms and, and subtracting, like additive and subtractive. Thanks, Kelsey. Uh, oh, how can someone become your student? It's, um, so the school is called uh, CG Spectrum, and the classes that I'm teaching now, not this stuff per se yet. Uh, I'm gonna work on a curriculum for that for uh, next year, but for right now, cheers, Chris, I never freeze. Um, for right now I'm teaching, it's intro to concept art 
um, and intro to 3, 3D concept art. Um, so that is, that's a class I'm teaching right now. And I think if you reach out to them and you, you can actually ask for an instructor and they'll put you in their class. All right, so that looks a little more hair-like. See, all this stuff I did before, I don't even like it. I'm just gonna get rid of it. That's the other great thing about um, the uh, clay buildup is you can just kind of completely get rid of stuff and build it back up. It's like clay, hence the name. So that's that strand. Let's turn on the other strands. Getting there, getting there. Uh, let's go back over here. Step down. Just wanna make sure when I print this, I don't have holes in the mesh. So I'll probably end up Booleaning, booleaning this together and uh, give it a dynamesh um, or just go right to decimate after I get what I like. You know what I'm saying? See what else I missed here. When I buy your shot, show schedule sending it to DC for you to sign. I could do that. I have got you, Bradley. ZBrush on iPad Pro? Um, I know they have applications that are like ZBrush, but I don't think you can use ZBrush on an iPad. I don't think it has full applications yet, does it? If so, then I might have to rethink that thing. Um, but yeah, you, you do it, sure, great idea. Actually, you know what? No, not so much. Um, so this is the thing. I got a Mobile Studio Pro from Wacom. I, I'm, I like promote Wacom stuff too. So I got a Mobile Studio Pro and um, you think that you're just going to be able to take that thing to the park and do everything on it. But you still have to plug in keyboard and sometimes you need mice and, you know, um, like if you're using Maya or something, you're going to want to use a, a probably a Bluetooth mouse and USB-C hub. Um, and you got to plug it in because the battery life on these things is not amazing. Um, <clears throat> so by the time you're done, Sure, you have like a really cool tablet, but for me, oops, sorry about that. For me, um, it's it's not as portable as it seems. I don't know. I did a YouTube uh, review of the Mobile Studio Pro. It's on my YouTube page, mytartworks.com. Um, yeah, go to the YouTube page and uh, you can see what I thought about it. Let's see. Yeah, GamerX, yes, definitely uh, Omega Red, my friend. Do you have base meshes? So I pretty much use the, um, like if I'm looking at the base mesh, let's see, is it covered up? It's covered up by the thing. Let's move this over here for now. Go into tools. Actually, let's go to mic. Brushes. Um, yeah. All right. Well, apparently I didn't. This is a later, later update of uh, ZBrush, so I didn't put it in here. But I, I just basically use the um, uh, Nix Human Mail. This dude. Sorry, T frame. Don't switch. 
frame. So I use this guy. Because he's got good topology. And uh, and this is what I'm starting from. Mostly. Alright, let's get my chat back over here. Like this. Oops, no, not like that. This. Alright, cool. And don't do that. Um, but, 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 what I have. Mine is almost at my shoulders. Oh, you're here. Uh, is it okay to contact studios with your portfolio and tell them you're interested in work? Absolutely. Make sure your portfolio is, is nice. Um, maybe show it around. Um, show it on ArtStation. Um, I mean, your portfolio could be on ArtStation. So get feedback um, before you reach out. I know that when I was trying to get down with Sideshow, um, I've been trying to reach, you know, kind of get in the fold for five years and looking back at where I was five years ago, I was not ready. So, um, you know, um, more often than not, you want to make a really good first impression. So just make sure that, uh, make sure it's, it's tight. That's all. But yeah, yeah. Reach out, show me your portfolio. So what's they gonna do? Say no. Mari Cat, what's up? Thank you. Um, how do you change the icon of boot? Uh, what you talking about, Willis? How do you maintain the clay brush crisp? No, 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 no. Uh, and no, nobody called you Bixby. All right, I don't know, like, I don't know what, I'm not talking to you. Uh, great stuff, how many, how many, man, man, how many um, gigs of RAM and what does your system have? All right, so I just, I just finally got the machine that I really want. So I'm gonna tell you guys this under the impression that you will not come to where I live and steal my stuff but uh, 128 gigs of RAM and uh, 10, what is it, 2080 Ti card and water cool system. So yeah. What else? Um, what are you calling high def? Uh, I can't remember what we were talking about. Remind me. Venezuela. Hey, how you doing? Uh, thank you. Thank you. The iPad would be super cool if you get Z brush on it. Da, 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 da. Yeah, some work. Thank you. What is going on? Oh, boot in the right corner. Oh, 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 okay. Um, so that is from a sculpt I did for a client and um, I just turned it into the uh, I turned it into the icon view so under preferences cam view sorry cam view you can scan through your stuff and you can also save things as a cam view so if I let's see if we can get this to work real quick turn this off I feel like Mike Pavlovich he like shows you stuff and it's dope. So let me try to do that too. All right. So let's turn off poly paint on this dude. Turn off color on him. And um, let's do just like a little render right quick. Go to the back, thank you. Okay, so this is what I would have. Oh, I think the teeth are masked. Unmask those teeth. Are they masked? No, I guess not. All right, 
Um, so what I can do now, I'm gonna turn off this thing and just do a render. Okay, so now if I wanted this to be the icon view, I could go up to preferences, make cam view, and it's gonna do a bunch of pictures of this thing. Like it'll just up, but you know what? No, 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 let me stop, let me stop, let me stop, 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 stop. Okay. Make sure your item is centered in the screen, right? So because I've moved mine off center, it doesn't really work. All right, it won't let me stop either. So basically it goes and it captures all of the turnarounds of this thing. And if it's centered on your, on your, in your world, then you get what you see on my screen. Like the boot is basically a sculpt that I made and it's rotating all the different views. So when that's done, it saves it as a Photoshop file and you import that in. It basically looks like, it looks like an animation thing. So you have like, you know, all the views kind of turning around and you import that in here and then you get your, um, get your cam view. My goodness, my cat has been all over my keyboard. I got hairs everywhere. Uh, all right. So anyway, Joe Drust does a much better job explaining it. And also Mike Pavlovich can explain anything better than me. Please believe. All right, so let's go back to the hair. I'm gonna cut this light off because now it's hard to see what I'm doing. Cut off that rim. Get this back up here where I had before. Why does it look darker? Oh, distance is uh, just up. Turn it there. There we go. Maybe I'll turn the other one on. I'll just turn it down low. There you go. Um, let's go back to here. Let's do the same thing on the other side. All right. So I'm going to just rough this in real fast and then I'm going to do a detail like I did on the top of his hair and then we're going to get to close because I could be here, here all day doing hair. This is low res, so looks a little janky. It's okay. Step it down, let's pinch it a little bit.
And if I can draft some of this stuff close to his head, then it will probably be uh, better than having to worry about these pieces breaking off um, if they're printed separately. So that's what we're doing at. And let's pinch this. Pinch, 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 pinch. Uh, where's my clay? My clay, snake tubes, there it is. Snake hook, rather. I'll turn off RGB. So uh, I'm just going to detail one of these strands and then we'll keep it moving. Let's see what else is happening here. Yeah, the new AMD processor is crazy. I have a uh, 3900X. But like if you tuned in last time, Somebody was asking me about graphics cards. Like, I'm done. I have everything I need. I don't need anymore. You know what I mean? It's like uh, diminishing returns at some point. So, you're like constantly chasing what's... It's like video games or, you know, iPhones or whatever. They just come out with another one every year. I'm like crazy for trying to get the latest one every time. So, this thing is respectable. And I just got it, like before this I had uh, 1080 Ti, I had I think uh, 32 gigs of RAM and um, uh, what else? Yeah, um, 18, 1800X, 1900X, 1900 AMD card, or uh, chip rather. Okay. Alright, let's detail this thing. Um, so what I'll do for this now is I'm going to split it off. Um, and I'll split off the three that I had because I want to subdivide those. And I don't want to end up with like two million polygons for something as simple as this. Like that's crazy. Oh look, I don't even have this hair going through the... Let's fix that. Make sense if this stuff is not under the headband.
Alright, it's too hot to be wearing this thing. Ugh, let's get that out of here. Uncle Jesse? Wait, is that THE Uncle Jesse? What's up, dude? I, uh, I'm a big fan, my friend. I'm thinking about buying the, uh... What is it? The uh, Anycubic uh, Photon Mono X? Because I, I watched your show. If this is the YouTube Uncle Jesse. Is this thing? Oh, this is uh, this is uh, Omega Red in the X Men. Let's see. Chat about what? Cheers, Mike. Looking good. Let's have a display. Turn the screen. Yeah. Um. This is a Cintiq Pro 32, and um, and so that's what I'm working on. I have my keyboard in front of it and a mouse over to the side. The side, let's say. Um, what else? Do the 3080, but I just bought a 2070 Super. Yeah, you're good. You're good, Chris. Hello from France. Oh, oh. Yeah, thanks. More RAM 3D. What's up? All right, cool. Um, so, all right, what were we doing? I was going to detail. Now I'm really going to do the, 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 the hair now, guys. I've been saying that for how long now? What time is it? 2.44. Have I really already been on for, let's see, two hours almost? It's crazy. Feels like I just got in here. All righty then. Let's get, let's get to it this down um i'm going to split these hairs strands of hairs bundles of hair bundle of hair the head step down split hidden tool over to sub tool um now i gotta find them there they are. All right. So now that I like these, what I can do is um, I can divide them again and start to detail them. Probably helps if I hide some of the stuff. So this is what I'm going to consider like the second stage of doing this hair because I don't want to, uh, I don't want to go crazy adding strands at this point, right? Because what's going to happen is, um, I'm going to subdivide it and it's going to look soft. So I just want enough that when I turn on the, um, when I turn on the, uh, the rest of his head it looks like it, it kind of fits and then when I'm done with everything like I did on the Hulk I'll come back and uh, I'll come back and really get you know kind of go hard on there Let's see where is where is it so like if we look at this
Oh, of course it's low res. But anyway, when I printed this, and I don't have the hair here, but I do have this. So like all of the detail, um, I sculpted it in at the last minute. Like I just kind of get the basic forms and then uh, figure it out later. So I think that'll be good for now. Let's turn on the other ones. While I'm here, let's do this one also. thing about hair too sometimes I gotta pull the line like three four times to get it to to be in the right spot I saw Eric Sosa doing a uh, magneto and he was just like knocking the hair out every every stroke was perfect I'm like dag dude but Eric is a beast so I'm very fortunate to be, you know, to be friends with a lot of really talented dudes. So, um, I can, you know, I can always look to them for making my stuff better. And as far as I'm concerned, like you never are done, <clears throat> you're never done improving. I think when you think that you are, that's when you, you kind of fall off, you know. I hate it when I see an artist that is, they're good, but they're just like, I couldn't possibly be any better, I've arrived. And then, you know, it's like, whatever, dude. You're done when you're dead. All right, so, this is enough for now. I think that'll do, All right? Not super clean, but if I turn off that, like most of that hair is hidden anyway. Things being like games. He, de <clears throat> he designed 777. Thank you. Duh. Facial scarf. Hey, thank you. Yeah, so it's 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 rough right now, but let's see if we can get it get it dialed in a little later. Goal to reach a point of proficiency where the tool and software is no longer creating limitation. Yeah, exactly. Well said, Michael Montoya. Margin high res to get the watertight final. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll I'll boolean these together. Sorry, my allergies are like making me sniff. Um, but uh, I'll boolean all these together, and then I'll go ahead and. Uh, uh, Dynamesh where I need to and then decimate um, with the keys so everything is is good to go
Yeah, um, it's funny if, if Uncle Jesse's still in here. I I was trying to get the uh, the Elegu Saturn because I watched your video and got super hyped for it. And both pre-orders, I was there like first in line, had the thing in my cart, and went to uh, pay for it. And it was like, yeah, no, nah, it's gone. So by the time I got my credit card information in both times, like with a span of two minutes, it was gone. So I was like, you know what, dude? I think we got some bot action going on here. So I decided to uh, decided to look at the um, Anycubic, the new one. And uh, after watching Rafael Grissetti's video talking about it, I think that's going to be the one I go with. But shout out to you for making all those videos, man. They're fantastic. Yeah, so at the end of the day, as long as this thing doesn't look like, uh, like I said, like um, soft serve ice cream, then I'm okay. So right now it still is kind of there. But when I go in detail later on, it won't. Hopefully. All right, so I'm gonna call it on the hair for now. Let's turn back on the body. Body back on. And, uh, I spent enough time working on hands and streams. I know you guys get tired of that mess, so let's start to figure out the gear for him. And I'll go back and get my, um, bah, 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 bah. let's do a render real quick. Go back and get my, oh, you know what? Maybe I'll save, how about that? I haven't saved in two hours. There you go. Get in collectible industry, please help. What, uh, getting into the collectible industry? You just gotta reach out to these guys on Instagram and just get yourself in front of them. Try to get the, try to get their attention. Sideshow, same deal. Is there a good way to deal with job anxiety? <clears throat> um, hmm, that's a tough question like deadlines can get you pretty amped up and uh, you know you just gotta realize that at the end of the day it is a job and if it's a company you're working for and you're not happy there you know start looking for a way out don't leave first find something you can go to and then and then you know give them your two weeks or however long you plan to do and make an exit on good terms, because you never know. You might need them for a reference or something like that. Say, so, hey, Mike, what's the material? What material did you use to pour the silicone for the Hulk mold? Mold. Um. So the silicone is. Uh, the silicone is Mold Max Thirty uh, from Smooth On, and this is probably like $200 worth of it. But um, that's just the bottom half. I didn't do the top half yet. So this is gonna, I gotta sell some statues, man, to make up for this. But um, yeah, Smooth On, Mold Max 30, and the resin is, the resin is, uh, I don't know what the resin is. I have it around here somewhere, I'm not sure, off the top. Man, that thing was heavy. Or I'm out of shape, or both. Hey, Mike, let me see. Oh, I already did that. Clear, calm, work. Nice to watch. Greetings from Russia. Thank you, my friend. Uh, what do I like more, painting or sculpting? So it's a very interesting question that you ask me. I'm glad you asked me that question. And I used to joke around. Like, so I've been painting all my life. And uh, 
and I only started sculpting, like I said, maybe like six years ago. So sculpting is exciting to me, right? Because painting, I can kind of, I can kind of do it in my sleep. I'm just used to it. That's what I've been doing since I was a kid. Um, but I really enjoy sculpting. Oh, come on, man. Don't do that. There you go. Let's move this. Seriously? I got to get rid of this mouse. I'm waiting for Amazon Prime Day. And then I'm going to get rid of this mouse. This thing is... Your days are numbered, Logitech. For real. All right, let's turn back on drawing. So this is what I'm thinking for the gear. So let's do this. I'm going to do a... Uh, save this as a JPEG. Save. Desktop. Call this... Uh, Okay, my Photoshop, let's get my, let's get my pure ref and bring it in. Just drop it in here. Right, I'm going to move this over here. And now I'm going to start trying to figure out the outfit. Um, before I do anything, I'm going to save again and do a quick save as well. As soon as that's done. All right. So. Now I have something to go by, which is good. I'm just gonna polygroup this kind of based on my sketch. And then break it up. Perfect. I should be using the um, pen instead. Why am I not using the pen? Let's go to the mask pen. Mask pen, there you go.
Oh, uh, if you're not following me on Facebook and you haven't seen it already, I did a pitch for Netflix um, for a movie that just came out called uh, Hubie Halloween. And uh, I watched it. It was actually a fun movie. Um, it was pretty, pretty dope, actually. With um, with Adam Sandler. So, I'm gonna show it to you real quick. Let's see. Open. Here it is. Yeah, if you haven't seen this yet, it just came out yesterday. It's actually pretty good. A little Adam Sandler, Hubie Halloween thing. It's a fun, stupid movie. They didn't use that, by the way. Those are the breaks. So that's not bad. That'll kind of work for now. Looks like I missed a little bit. Okay, so that's that. Alright, so for now, that's kind of what I'm talking about. Alright, so let's turn the legs back on. Turn off poly paint. And let's get this color. Let's see. I'm going to save this just in case. And... Um, So I'm just gonna kind of just block in some of these forms really quickly with my uh, damn standard. How did I cut down on the other side? I think it's down more. Maybe down like this. So at this point I'm just sketching it in. Doesn't have to be great. Because I'm not going to use a lot of this. Actually that needs to cut under a little further. That. All 
right, let me hide these arms because it's going to make it hard to see what's going on here, actually. Replacing with a pen and tablet. What you mean, Trince? Uh, don't you find, however, that sculpting has improved the dimensional quality of... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, uh, Michael. My sculpting has made my paintings infinitely better, and I think vice versa. Like, that's why I was able to pick up sculpting so fast, is because I already, you know, learned the forms and stuff with uh with painting so yeah i think it's you know it's like the old masters they used to do both and you know one only helps the other been messing with zbrush for about a week i didn't realize how important poly groups are yeah poly groups are very important very important um michael i got into zbrush because i was working on um i was working on package art for uh, G.I. Joe for Hasbro and I needed to be able to figure out how the guys look with their gear and everything and the light kind of rolling around all the forms and it was just way easier having you know like rudimentary sculpts of them with with you know squares and stuff that represents like a backpack or whatever so that made me want to sculpt and then you know fell in love with it and um and uh also i was uh, a big fan of the sideshow sculpts like i always wanted to own those and uh and you know one day wanted to uh wanted to work with them as well so yeah I'm going to have clothing over this, but the thing of it is, if I can get these muscles kind of figured out now, then uh, you'll be able to see them through the clothes, you know, and I don't have to mess up. Once you start getting piping and all that on there, you don't want to have to go back in and, and fix stuff, you know, like that's not, it's just going to make life really difficult once you have the clothes on the dude. So... Yeah, that's why I keep going and playing around with this stuff. Also, I'm a big fan of asymmetrical muscles. I think that looks more realistic to me. So I hate to see the six pack that just looks like it's copy and pasted one side to the other. You know, when you're looking at reference of a lot of these guys, um, bodybuilders and stuff like that, they're... They're not necessarily symmetrical. There are some, you know, obviously there are some that are, but I think the ones that aren't are more interesting. All right, so back to the gear. Um, so 
arms back on. Let's turn the color back on. When I turn the color back on, I'm gonna see that I need to fix it. Yeah, okay. So, the good news is, I don't care just yet. I'll keep on, keep on just kind of scratching in where I want these breaks to be. Reference for big buff men. Um, I have a, I have a uh, Pinterest page with anatomy. It's got men, women, everybody, you know, great shape, out of shape, whatever. And uh, it's Mike T Artworks. So everything for me is Mike T Artworks. So just go to Pinterest, type in at Mike T Artworks, and uh, you will see where I get the buff reference. All right, let's turn down that light because now it's crazy. There you go. Turn that down. Let's turn this off. Let's set the light. All right. Anatomy refs here. I'll type it in. Caps lock is on. There you go. That is me. Um, sweet mug. Yeah. Yeah. pose yeah you know what it was uh it's fun it's fun all right hello jl cast in the art 3d art what did you learn sculpting in zebras did you take classes yeah um so i started off by getting books um i would just buy books off of uh amazon and and look at how to do stuff and then um, YouTube, a lot of YouTube videos, watching guys like uh, Mike Pavlovich um, and Ryan Kingsland was a big, big help. And then, you know, more recently than that, looking at guys I really admire, like, you know, um, uh, Daniel Bell and Eric Sosa, and, you know, Joe Minna. There's so many really, both St. Deepa, really uh, just so many people who are killing it that there's no excuse not to come away learning something. All right, so let's get back into figuring out the gear. All right. I don't know what they're doing outside, but it's super annoying. Now, because this is out of symmetry, this is where it gets a little more difficult. And in fact, why am I doing it this way? Shouldn't do it this way. I'm going to turn off the ad. I'm going to color it. Let's turn back on the color. Um, and I'm going to draw these forms in first. That way, if I mess it up, it's okay. I'm not messing up the sculpture itself. So. Kind of sketch it in. That's not right. This whole thing needs to move over too. That should be all the way over there. And 
this one probably doesn't need to come this far out. like a Rubik's Cube. Get one side and the other side is out. It's alright. I know for a fact I'm the only one that's going to sweat if this is correct or not. People probably don't care. It just can't be like way out and look crazy. So really this should come down and then in, but I'm going to have it so pinched under the arm anyway. That. What I'm looking at on the other screen, if you're wondering why I keep looking back and forth, is the other screen has my hum. So I can move it over here as my sketch. Let's put this up. that um i oh, just realized i don't have his outfit connected that would make it hard to stay on some point I'm gonna come do some color breaks for the materials uh, so might as well see what that looks like now I'm just gonna switch to a darker red and see what this looks like
once I find something I like, then I can go through and slice this thing and, you know, define these forms and put in my, uh, you know, go ahead and assign materials and things like that so that it, it looks like an actual suit. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever felt Are you listening? When I put the shoulder pads on, it's going to start to look a little better than this. But for now, um, that's something. All right. Um, let's turn the pants back on. Yeah, sketch that out. Arms out of the way. Actually, let's just isolate them. So I want to kind of contour around some of these muscles uh, just to find those a little better in the suit. Just finding them um, and not, you know, not staying so rigid that it has to, it has to go around every grouping, but, um, but it helps to figure out what I want to do. Now back here, I didn't draw this out, so. I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing on this part. But I do want to start to comp in the, uh, figure out the boots as well. And detail the legs a little bit. So right now you can see they're still, they're still loose, right? The upper body is not, it's, more, it's way tighter actually. So let's get these legs a little dialed in. Get some reference for some legs.
And I like to leave some of these irregular areas. Like I don't like to smooth it out until it looks like balloons, right? Because muscles don't look that way. They're you have fat on top of them, you have skin stretching around them, you got veins sandwiched in between all that mess, and it uh and it gives you kind of an irregular look. So I like to keep that in my sculpts. Um, I think it looks a little more realistic when you do it that way. So all of this is gonna be covered under his under his uh his shins and you know calves and all that stuff but if i have the forms right then it makes sense you know so makes sense to do it beforehand it's time to have left three o'clock one more hour Yeah, so if you guys have any questions about anything, let me know. Let's see what this chat is saying here. Um, da, 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 da. Hello. What's up? What's more fun, making a statue or an action figure? I haven't made any action figures. I would really... While I was a kid, I loved action figures. I wouldn't be like super excited about. Dude, I don't know what they're doing outside. I don't know if you guys can hear, guys can hear that, but it's crazy. Um, I wouldn't love figuring out joints and all that stuff. Um, but uh, I love making statues. Like, it's fantastic. Um, what was I gonna say? layers for the sculpts no I do sometimes but um I'm not now not right now because I, I have a whole bunch of iterative saves where you know when I was taking chances with figuring out muscles and stuff um uh I I saved layers because I didn't want to I didn't want to lose it anyway let's see da, da, da. How important is it for socialization of the artist for work these days? Well, well, if you're like me, you don't socialize very much. Like the, the one thing about this pandemic is I've been preparing for it for 15 years. Uh, and uh, I think the sun is overrated, so. I don't tend to go outside that much. I think people make a great big deal about the sun. And I'm not a fan, to be honest with you. So, staying inside is not a big deal for me. But no, you, I mean, yeah, socialize definitely with other artists. And it's like anything else, you know? I know a lot of artists who are just weird because we're artists and everybody's got a thing. So, um,. You know, I wouldn't sweat it too much. So I like to keep these low subdivision levels because I can go in and if I see an area that looks like the surface is not smooth the way I want if you smooth it out in the lower levels and then step up you can keep the the details of the high frequency without losing them and you get a nice you know uh, smooth lower um, lower detail right I don't know if that made sense probably not I'm all hopped up on coffee y'all Oh, so his arms are exposed. Let's do some veins. That's always fun. 
That I will use uh, layers for and a morph target because I don't want to mess it up. The other thing too is I did kind of mess, uh, I messed up his, like the areas around his arms. I turn on my paint, it doesn't match anymore. So the good thing is I saved a uh, store point, like a history state. So now what I can do is I can move this out of the way here, move this out of the way. I can go to his upper body and turn on my color. And I like the poly paint, so I don't want to affect that, but I do want to go back to before I scribed in the lines. All right, so I'll go down to uh, project and I just, I don't want to project the color. I just want to project the, um, the surface history, right? So I'll hit project history and should, there you go. Did you see that? If you blinked, you missed it. Let me undo. You see how it looked before? Where I had the, uh, let's turn off the color so you can see it a little better. And where I had these lines drawn in here, like into the surface, sculpted in rather. Uh, I don't want those there anymore. So what I can do is I can go project history and uh, it'll take me back. Now what it did do is it kind of messed up my abs. So um, because I want to keep those, I'll just mask them. Like that. And now I'll hit project history. All right. Abs are safe. Back to the way I had it before. Still have my poly paint. Balling, y'all. All right, so that's good. Now I can start, let's get some veins in his arms because that'll be, make him look like a real muscle man. Get this out of the way. Let's take this guy. And you can see I started doing it on this one before. It's one of my favorite parts of sculpting. So first I want to store a morph, morph target. Uh, so it's got a morph target and, oh see now I have one here before, I wonder what it has on it. Let's switch and see what it looks like. I'm gonna turn off the poly paint first. Now, I must have stored this a long time ago, so it's probably gonna look way different, let's see. Yeah, it's in a different position for one thing, but you can see the, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know, kind of see the difference. But anyway, I'm going to delete that morph target, store a new one. And now I can start to put muscle in here. I'm not muscle. I can start to put the, uh, the veins in here and, uh, if I mess up, I can just use the morph target to get rid of it. I like to turn up my lazy radius on my lazy mouse to around 30. And then when I draw these things out, I also put an alpha on there. It's alpha one. And then uh, when I draw these, kind of looks like veins, All right? So. look at this dude is he's here let's go back and hit this one make it a little thicker and he's gonna have gauntlets on his arms so that's probably gonna be covered up but uh some of them won't be. He's gonna have those giant shoulder pads on, so you may see this. Probably won't, but I'll know it's there, so. That's what's important.
And I find smoothing it back a bit in some areas and kind of helps the realism. This guy is uh, is clearly like roided out of his mind. He's just really pissed um, all the time. He's got like that. Uh, I, I can't remember the name of it. Any comic book fans who remember what the Russian equivalent of adamantium is that he has? But he's anyway. He's got that going through his veins, so he's probably like jacked out of his mind here. Got that rim, Rimdesivir strength <laughs> going on. Feels better than he has in 20 years. But yeah, so that's why I'm like, I don't mind going super hard with the with the veins and then dialing it back. So the good news is if I do anything on here I don't like, I just can uh, switch to my morph brush and it will essentially erase it away to the previous store where I save the morph target. So let's do the same to his legs. Save as. Save this over here. Save. Michael. Let's see, how do you do the line straight? So I'm using um, Lazy Mouse and essentially what that does is as you draw out your line, it, there's a lag behind it. Professor Boom! Uh, there's a lag behind it and what that does is it allows you to, um, you see that red line? 
it allows you to, uh, you know, um, draw straighter, more precise lines, basically. Like that. Like that. And he's going to have a lot of, like, things on his forearm. But the thing about the forearms, like I said, they're completely covered, so I'm going to waste time on those. Uh, let's go to the... I really want that vein on his bicep to be crazy, though. So let's see. I'm going to try something. Let's see if I can't make that larger. Like I always like when that vein is like ridiculously pumped up. And then when I print it, it's gonna look it's gonna look good too. So maybe let's do this. Step down a little. Not that much. And I'll turn off my alpha. Turn off my alpha. Now draw it. Oh my gosh, so huge. Alright, now step up. Do a render, see what it looks like. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, light on the other one. This over here. Let's turn this up a little bit. I'm so hungry right now. You know, just because I can, let's put a little skin texture on there too and see what it looks like. Break it up a little bit, because right now it's super smooth. I normally wouldn't get to this part for a long time, but what the heck. Uh, first, I'm going to throw a little bit of color on this. Uh, what I want, like this, probably. Standard, turn off add, turn on RTB. That's heavy. that So this may be a little more red. And then back it down a little bit.
too much. Oh, I said I was gonna put skin texture on here. All right, yeah, I got sidetracked. Let me put that on now. Couple more veins, a few more veins. Then I'll put them. Problems. these hands because they are so not done. Save this first. I don't make any mistakes. Yes. Let's look at the chat. Um, does it work with a mask? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, Lazy Mouse definitely works with masking. Perhaps add a challenge to sculpting. That finds to enjoy. Yeah, it's just something new. It's the new style. Senpai, what's up, Professor Bomb? What is up? Hey, Silence. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Uh, sorry, Professor. Professor Bomb. Do you make profile pictures for people? Mm, I don't really do that. Sick up. Yeah, yeah, man. You know. I got that for Christmas, actually. Or no, I didn't. Um, one of the holidays. I got it for something. Pay no attention to the cat here that's stuck to it. Not a fan of the sun. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Hermit for life. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um... All right, let's see. Clay spin come with, yes, yeah. All right, so clay spin is, if you press your comma key and go into the, um, the uh, tray here, go to your brushes, click on clay, 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 clay. Here it is. Don't know why they're not in alphabetical order, but clay spin is in here. Now I move mine out onto the uh, onto my interface because I use it so much. So um, here it is, right here, actually, clay spin. Yep. So it just kind of gives a texture as well as um, uh, as well as building up your forms. So pretty, pretty good. I'm so great right now. Roid it out, y'all. Very pissed. All right, veins. 
takes inspiration for these veins from your own bicep. You know, there was a time, there was a time when I had the killer guns. No, never. But they were better than they are now. I tell you what, I have like the Matrix body right now, y'all. And I'm not talking about like in the Matrix. I mean like on the Nebuchadnezzar. That's a real deep nerd cut for y'all, by the way. Deep, deep nerd cut. Carbonate, car, carbonadium. Yeah, that's what it is. All right, so that's what he has instead of adamantium, carbonadium. Thank you, EJ3DTV. I don't sculpt with perspective turned on. Um, I do not. Some sick veins for it. Uh, you use a mouse. Yeah, I use a mouse and a pen. Both. Double threat. Double threat. Mostly to pen for sculpting. Mostly. All right, what else? Anything else on here? Titanium white. <laughs> exactly. Happy little veins. Thanks, man. Science. Do you incorporate dynamics feature in your pipeline? Dynamics feature? Just talking about Willis. Um, oh, you mean like uh, dynamic subdivisions? If so, yes. Oh, mug. It's nice. We render in key shot. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Take it to key shot. Decimation. Yeah, when I'm ready to print. Uh, after I cut and key, I will decimate this whole thing. Thank you. Thank you. All right, cool. So I made it through the chat. Now, what did I say I was going to do? Oh, a um, little bit of texturing in the skin. A little bit of texturing in the skin. But you know what? All right, I'll do it. The hell. I'm going to save first because I have a feeling... I have a feeling that like the skin texturing is usually the last thing I do. So I don't know that I'm going to keep any of it. And also, I don't think I have it decimated up high enough to really hold anything interesting. But let's see. Let's see. Shall we? All right. I want to uh, go to my tray, go to my brushes. Mic brushes, skin. All right. Um, so let's just see what some of this looks like here. I probably would need to decimate this. I mean, not decimate this, uh, divide it another time. Let's see when I turn the hands on. So, I mean, I can. Let's do it. All right, so we're at 3 million polys now. So if I were to go and put texture on there, I don't necessarily like this one. Let's see. Let's get something else. Scan look like. Am I using color too? I'm using color. I want that. So the way I would normally do this is to make layers. And uh, first I spray down. I'm not even doing this the way I normally do it. So this is kind of pointless. Let me undo this. Undo. Um, yeah, so normally I'd make a layer, spray down like a base coat of the skin, and uh, just to get break it up so it's not quite so smooth looking. I'll do that in another stream. Like, how much time do I have left? Yeah, let's just work on the legs for now. Uh, legs, and then I believe I have to make the shoulder pads as well. So I've been putting those things off. Again. Let's 
This doesn't have any legs on its alt arms. Alright, so what I'll do is I'll drag my sketch, bring that over. Oh, look at that. I didn't even notice. You see it switched out? It used my, uh... Remember we made the the icon of my head? Oh, jeez. I get this out of the way. Just turn this up straight. So you see there's the head icon. And I can probably go in and make it bigger if I want it. Size, turn it up. It's there. Um, and then if I wanted to keep it, I would save it, right? So if you missed that part, go into YouTube and check out how I made that. But I am going to go back to my boot. Because I like my boot. Let's see. Next, 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 next. There it is. There's my boot. It's not color. Let's see, add. And this light is making it super hard to see what's going on. Let's turn off rim light. On. There you go. And let's switch to basic material. Right. Maybe a gray. Turn this thing down. Just too much. So he's going to have giant knee pads on, so again, you're not going to get to see a lot of this, but it's okay. Because I'll know it's there. Too much. Fabric is one of those things that it actually relaxes me to sculpt it. Um, I really enjoy it. So a lot of people ask why I don't just use 
Marvelous or, you know, even now the features that I have in ZBrush. Um, I really like the new fabric features in uh, ZBrush, the, the physics, but I don't control them so good yet. So um, it's like a 50-50, you know, like I'll probably come in and use it later on, but I really like sculpting, you know, the, the folds and finding where where wrinkles should be and all that good stuff. So that's just me. Alright, one thing I do want to do is start to figure out his boot. So let's make a duplicate of uh, his. I'm going to duplicate his legs. I kind of already have what I need here. So let's go to this tool. I'm going to clone this, duplicate, and step down to the lowest sub D level. Um, delete higher, delete. Delete higher, like that. I just want these parts and I want to delete everything else, so delete hidden. All right, so, and then, um, Shrink this a little bit. So let's grab, let's grab this and shrink. Seriously, uh, check visibility. Let's see. Ba, 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 ba. New dynamics menu has come with the zero twenty over dynamic simulations. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I use that. Anyways, great. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Why isn't it shrinking? It's weird. All right. Let's do this then. going to want to keep those pieces because I have to build up the piece that goes in front of it, but let me see. I'll keep it. I'll keep those. All right. So now let's turn back on. Uh, let's do this. Group. Poly mesh those separately. And uh, let's give it some thickness, turn off double. Q mesh, I'm gonna use extrude, probably with ball. Give this thing some thickness. Yeah, I want this to be bulky, like, I want to feel almost like Colossus's boots. Whoa, not like that. Not like that. Not like that. Um. Let's do this one. All right, I know what I want to do. First, let's do this. I want to I'm gonna grab my slice curve, hide everything but this, and let's Isolate the bottom of that. No, oh, not like that. Okay. Okay. That'll work. Get the other one. Same deal. It's going to be a little hard to find that edge.
Mm, close, but no cigar. I'm just going to mask it and do it. Let's see. No, wait a minute. I can't see. My hand's in the way. All I want to do is isolate the um, the bottom of this, and it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to give me an edge loop that I can work with. So that even will work, right? That's actually kind of dope. Um, so now turn on everything. Everything. There you go. Um, I'm going to go and... I don't know why it won't let me shrink these polygons. It's so crazy. I want that one, and I want that one. That. Yeah, uh, W, okay. There you go. So now, let's remesh this. See if we can get a little something better than we have. First, I want to do a quick save in case I lose it. What time is it? I got another 20 minutes. Thanks, like syrup. All right. Um, geometry. Z remesh. I'm going to turn my adaptive size down to zero and actually keep it the same and uh, turn up my curve strength. Uh, yeah, and let's try see what happens here. Okay. Oh, before I do though, first I'm going to save a history state like that. All right, now Z remesh. Okay. Not too shabby. So now if I go to project, sub tool, project, history. There you go, now it gave me my forms back and you see how now I have like a nice clean edge loop on the bottom of the foot. So I can go in and actually fix this now. So if I were to smooth this out here and maybe here, here, it's starting to look more like a shoe. Less like whatever the heck it was before. I don't know what it was before, it was crazy. So we have that. And I'm looking, I'm, I'm not looking to make the actual boots right now. I don't have enough time, but I do want to, I do want to figure out the, uh, the sub tool so that I can go back into it later and get it. So let's turn back on our legs. Okay. And you can see it's penetrating there through the mesh. So I'm just going to grab my move tool and bring it out I could probably inflate it but I don't want it to get I don't want it to get too balloony right now so I can just nudge it out this is how I normally do it
So there's an awesome uh, Daniel Bell video that he has on his YouTube where he shows how he kind of uh, he makes a tennis shoe. And uh, and I was watching it yesterday and he's got some some nice little tricks on there to keep it clean and break up the forms and everything. So I think that's how I'm gonna approach this boot. Um, but full disclosure, that's that's his technique. I didn't make that up. All right, so this is looking a little better. Let's turn on transparent so I can see how. Well, so like it's a little chunky, but it's okay. Let me bring it in a little bit. All right, turn off transparency. Turn off poly, uh, poly group. Oh, wait a minute, I thought I extruded this. Didn't I? Well, I guess I did not. All right, so that's okay, because what I can do now is I can... I'm going to flip it and then extrude it inward. Um, so let's say geometry. What is it under? Is it under? And the defamation. Where's flip? I had it on my. I had it on my UI, and I just changed my UI. Um, ba -ba 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 surface no. Um, it's not under here, and it's hot. Oh, here it is. All right, cool. So I want to use that again. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to my UI. Let's move this out of the way. Go to config and enableize custom, enable customize. Enableize, that's not a word. Grab flip and bring that over here. All right, then turn off that, save UI. Um, I'll save it later. I'll just save custom store config. So now every time I open up ZBrush, I have that over there. I use it a lot actually. All right. So now it's inside out, right? looks weird. We're looking at it inside out. So what we're going to do is I'm going to group the entire thing and then I'm going to Go to my Z modeler and I'm going to extrude it inward like this. Let's actually do it so I can see how thick it is. There you go. And you're not going to see the inside of that, but I do want it to penetrate the leg because I want it to be watertight when I finish these boots, right? So that's that. Boom, done. Now I can hit. Um, I do want to isolate the inside from the outside, so let's isolate just the outside. Now I'm going to hit auto groups. There you go. So now I have the two of these things that I can work on later. All right. Go through and smooth it a little bit. Grab this. Copy these sub tool rename. Ooh. Copy. 
go back to my legs and paste. There you go. Now he's got some boots. He's got some real soft boots. I'm going to put in some holding lines just to make them a little less soft. So they don't look like big old socks. Let's go back over here. I like this song. This is a good song to end on. Is that? Uh, so, let's go here. This song is dope. All right. Um, the boots. Now, if I turn on dynamic subdivision. It's a little less soft. Still, no detail, right? Still looking weird, but we'll handle that. Take care of that later. You better believe it. Now, the thing about this is, now that I have these boots, I can, uh, what am I doing on time? All right, still got another eight minutes. So now that I have the subtool that's gonna be boots, which is right now marshmallows, um, I can go through and shrink the inside of his leg because I know that I kind of have the proportions the way I want and I just don't want it penetrating the mesh. So I come back over here like this and I let's this and let's grab this W. Uh, I don't even have to show them. There you go. So now I can shape these things and make them feel a little more the way that I want to look. And if we look back at my sketch, you know, there is a plan, like, I will have the big piece here that goes over the knee and all that stuff. Like, that's coming. Coming soon to a Omega Red near you. Why is this not... Undo History is not the latest one. Storing... I'm not asking you to store the Undo History. I'm asking you to show me the money. Why is it doing that? Cancel. Where's my hand? Solo. Storing. Dude, I don't know what you're talking about. All right, see, this is why we have quick save. <laughs> So hopefully I have a version where it's not acting crazy. All I'm trying to do is unhide the hand. And it's talking about an undo history. All right, there it is. Whatever, whatever, whatevs. Let's turn on the color. Let's turn on the other stuff. Oh, look at those big white boots. You got the disco boots. Disco boots, y'all. Color, move out of the way for.
for a second, please. There you go. Color fill. Oh, not that color. Nice Christmas tree guy. That'll work. Maybe darker. Yeah, a little darker. Color fill. All right, so those will be boots in the future. Um, yeah, so let's do a render real quick and I can read the rest of the comments. All right, uh, turn on my light again. Yeah, when I take this into key shot, it's gonna look good, I think. Maybe what I'll do is post on Instagram later on that if you're not following me on Instagram, please give me a follow. Mike T Artworks. Um, I post a lot of stuff there. Personal stuff. Um, the whole progress. When I start printing this guy, progress for this guy. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Right? So it's starting to look like a a dude. Um, oh, you know what? Preferences. No, not preferences. Render. Let's do this. Let's make it good. Render properties. No. Shadow. Let's turn up the rays. Let's turn up the blur a little bit. Let's turn on the sharpen filter. Let's move him over here. Now, let's see what he looks like. As I read stuff. All right, let's see. Um, That's better. All right. Display properties. Thank you, thank you. Mirror. Is mirror? No. Uh, do I have symmetry on? Is that what you're asking me? Um, the answer is no. Um... Uh, some shoes, he's practically fully dressed. <laughs> yeah, he's practically fully dressed. That is correct. What are you still doing up? Oh my gosh. That's my student, you guys. She needs to go get some sleep. Um, you're gonna do are you gonna go through materials and light caps? Maybe struggling archive kind of stuff. Yeah, I could. I'm not great at that stuff. I, I'll be honest with you. I love ZBrush. I'm not a fan of the of the 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 BPR comic style renders and stuff like they're great for people you know who maybe don't necessarily do this kind of stuff uh, or paint for a living but I do so I don't mind just painting this they do help sometimes though um, I can knock out a uh, a quick BPR and use that as a, a base to paint on top of so let's do this. Let's make a beauty pass for for the YouTubes. Let's turn off first. Let's turn off the color on here. Let's get him white with his big disco boots and find like a cool angle. Like ah, so. Maybe perspective. Let's turn on pers now. I would turn on perspective. Let's turn on some perspective. Like, oh my gosh! All right. Um, but maybe not that much. Let's see. Draw. Let's do eighty-five. There you go. It's a little more my style. A little more me. All right. So let's do this one. move this light up because it's making it hard to read tool light bring the light up bring this back there you go let's turn this down a little bit okay render oh I have basic go back to my material that's better and 
it uh, turn it up a little bit. More than that. There you go. Render. Make that, make a new one, um, create, draw him out. Oh, one time, y'all. One time. Ah, uh, come on. T, frame. All right, whatever. Let's do this. Boom. Put him here like this. Let's put color on them now. Tool. Color. Turn it on. Stay on, will you? Color makes a difference, I think. And now let's do actual size and do a render. Or not a render, but save as. Export. Oh, come on, man. I got to get rid of this mouse. Come on, Amazon Prime Day. This mouse sucks. document export as a PSD and call this ZBrush Liar. Live URL. All right, now we can go over to Photoshop and uh, open it up. Don't forget to watch Hubie Halloween, you guys. I'm not getting paid to say that. I just liked it. I'll make red and here it is. All right, so that is it for the week. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a follow on everything, um, especially Instagram. And uh, I will be back in two weeks. Let me see if I missed anything here. Da, 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 da. Do you see this guy in your dreams? Uh, not yet. I work on it a little bit longer, probably. I see the Hulk in my dream still. Why'd you sculpt without perspective, assuming you even... Um, I never sculpt with perspective turned on. I just don't do it. I always turn it on after the fact. Trevor Lawrence? What is up, brother? Trevor's my man. How you doing, Trev? Um, old timer. Okay, I was friends with Trevor. No, I'm not friends with Trevor anymore. Screw you, Trev. All right, guys. Um, so, yeah, I'm out. Um, have a great week. Stay safe. And I will see you next stream. Peace. Kelsey, I will see you in class. All right, y'all. Take care. Bye.